how to customize the Assistive Touch top level menu on the iPhone 16 series. First, let's return back to the home screen by swapping up at the bottom of the screen. From the home screen, tap on settings. Then in the settings page, we scroll down and tap on accessibility. After that, go down and tap on touch. From here, tap on assistive touch. Then we go down and tap on customize top level menu. Now in here by default, it has six icons at the top level menu to replace a function or an icon in here. So let's say if you want to um, change the classic voice control because you don't use it, you can tap on that. And from here, you can replace that button with another, um, with another uh, function. Okay, in here we can choose app switcher, for example, and then tap on done. So now if I open up my assistive touch, you can see now I have the app switcher. I can tap on that to open up my app, uh, app screen. Okay, so let's go back into settings here. And you can also add in additional items. So tap on add, will allow you to add in one more item here. And then tap on another add button, will allow you to have up to eight icons. So here we need to assign a function to it. So tap on the add button. Then scroll down the list and, cho and choose what you want to do. So here you can add in a shortcut. You can open up an app and you can see it's quite a lot of things that you can do. So here we go to the top, uh, Assistive Touch, Collaborate Eye Tracking, Eye Tracking Zoom. Uh, you can scroll up, scroll down the screen by applying the scroll gestures to the shortcut or you can have speak screen and then tap on done. So choose one of the items or one of the function that you want to use. Here we have another item left. So tap on the add button. And then here we can ask it to open up analytics and then tap on done. Here we've got analytics or speak screens. So speak screen. Customize top level menu, tap. And that's it. So that is the top level menu. If you have messed it up and you want to go back to the default, you can simply just tap on the reset button and that will reset your uh, top level menu back to the default. And that's it. That is how you can customize your top level menu for Assistive Touch. And here, if you tap on custom, it will go down into a sub level. Or if you tap on device, it will go down to a sub level menu. And that's it. Thank you for watching this video. Please like and subscribe to my channel for more videos.